Linear programming is a method to achieve the best outcome in a mathematical model whose requirements are represented by linear relationships. Linear programming is a special case of mathematical programming. More formally, linear programming is a technique for the optimization of a linear objective function, subject to linear equality and linear inequality constraints. Its feasible region is a convex polyhedron, which is a set defined as the intersection of finitely many half spaces, each of which is defined by a linear inequality. Its objective function is a real value defined function defined on this polyhedron. A linear programming algorithm finds a point in the polyhedron where this function has the smallest value if such a point exists. Linear programs are problems that can be expressed in canonical form. Where x represents the vector of variables, c and b are vectors of coefficients, a is a matrix of coefficients, and is the matrix transpose. The expression to be maximized or minimized is called the objective function. The inequalities arc a permal b and x a permal 0 yen are the constraints which specify a convex polytope over which the objective function is to be optimized. In this context, two vectors are comparable when they have the same dimensions. If every entry in the first is less than or equal to the corresponding entry in the second then we can say the first vector is less than or equal to the second vector. Linear programming can be applied to various fields of study. It is used in business and economics, but can also be utilized for some engineering problems. Industries that use linear programming models include transportation, energy, telecommunications, and manufacturing. It has proved useful in modeling diverse types of problems in planning, routing, scheduling, assignment, and design. History The problem of solving a system of linear inequalities dates back at least as far as Fourier, after whom the method of fourier era motzkin elimination is named. The linear programming method was first developed by Leonid Kantorovich in 1939. Leonid Kantorovich developed the earliest linear programming problems in 1939 for use during World War II to plan expenditures and returns in order to reduce costs to the army and increase losses to the enemy. The method was kept secret until 1947 when George B. Danzig published the simplex method and John von Neumann developed the theory of duality as a linear optimization solution, and applied it in the field of game theory. Postwar Many industries found its use in their daily planning. The linear programming problem was first shown to be solvable in polynomial time by Leonid Karshian in 1979, but a larger theoretical and practical breakthrough in the field came in 1984 when Narendra Karmarkar introduced a new interior point method for solving linear programming problems. Danzig's original example was to find the best assignment of 70 people to 70 jobs. The computing power required to test all the permutations to select the best assignment is vast. The number of possible configurations exceeds the number of particles in the observable universe. However, it takes only a moment to find the optimum solution by posing the problem as a linear program and applying the simplex algorithm. The theory behind linear programming drastically reduces the number of possible optimal solutions that must be checked. Uses Linear programming is a considerable field of optimization for several reasons. Many practical problems in operations research can be expressed as linear programming problems. Certain special cases of linear programming, such as network flow problems and multi-commodity flow problems are considered important enough to have generated much research on specialized algorithms for their solution. A number of algorithms for other types of optimization problems work by solving LP problems as sub-problems. Historically, ideas from linear programming have inspired many of the central concepts of optimization theory, such as duality, decomposition, and the importance of convexity and its generalizations. Likewise, linear programming is heavily used in microeconomics and company management, such as planning, production, transportation technology and other issues. Although the modern management issues are ever-changing, most companies would like to maximize profits or minimize costs with limited resources. Therefore, many issues can be characterized as linear programming problems. Standard form, standard form is the usual and most intuitive form of describing a linear programming problem. 
it consists of the following three parts, a linear function to be maximized, for example. Problem constraints of the following form, for example. Non-negative variables, for example. The problem is usually expressed in matrix form, and then becomes other forms, such as minimization problems, problems with constraints on alternative forms, as well as problems involving negative variables can always be rewritten into an equivalent problem in standard form. Example, suppose that a farmer has a piece of farm land, say LKM2, to be planted with either wheat or barley or some combination of the two. The farmer has a limited amount of fertilizer, F kilograms, and insecticide, P kilograms. Every square kilometer of wheat requires F1 kilograms of fertilizer, and P1 kilograms of insecticide, while every square kilometer of barley requires F2 kilograms of fertilizer, and P2 kilograms of insecticide. Let S1 be the selling price of wheat per square kilometer, and S2 be the selling price of barley. If we denote the area of land planted with wheat and barley by x1 and x2 respectively, then profit can be maximized by choosing optimal values for x1 and x2. This problem can be expressed with the following linear programming problem in the standard form, which in matrix form becomes, maximize, subject to, augmented form, linear programming problems can be converted into an augmented form in order to apply the common form of the simplex algorithm. This form introduces non-negative slack variables to replace inequalities with equalities in the constraints. The problems can then be written in the following block matrix form, maximize Z. X, XS are parallel 0 yen, where XS are the newly introduced slack variables, and Z is the variable to be maximized. Example, the example above is converted into the following augmented form, where are slack variables, representing in this example the unused area, the amount of unused fertilizer, and the amount of unused insecticide. In matrix form this becomes, maximize Z. Duality. Every linear programming problem, referred to as a primal problem, can be converted into a dual problem, which provides an upper bound to the optimal value of the primal problem. In matrix form, we can express the primal problem as, Maximize CTX subject to AXA per mil currency B, XA per mil 0 yen. With the corresponding symmetric dual problem. Minimize BTY subject to it a per mil yen C, YA per mil 0 yen. An alternative primal formulation is, maximize CTX subject to AXA per mil currency B. With the corresponding asymmetric dual problem. Minimize BTY subject to it equals C. YA per mil 0 yen. There are two ideas fundamental to duality theory. One is the fact that the dual of a dual linear program is the original primal linear program. Additionally, every feasible solution for a linear program gives a bound on the optimal value of the objective function of its dual. The weak duality theorem states that the objective function value of the dual at any feasible solution is always greater than or equal to the objective function value of the primal at any feasible solution. The strong duality theorem states that if the primal has an optimal solution, x, then the dual also has an optimal solution, y, and ctx equals bty. A linear program can also be unbounded or infeasible. Duality theory tells us that if the primal is unbounded then the dual is infeasible by the weak duality theorem. Likewise, if the dual is unbounded, then the primal must be infeasible. However, it is possible for both the dual and the primal to be infeasible. As an example, consider the linear program, example, revisit the above example of the farmer who may grow wheat and barley with a set provision of some ill land, f fertilizer and p pesticide. Assume now that Y unit prices for each of these means of production are set by a planning board. The planning board's job is to minimize the total cost of procuring the set amounts of inputs while providing the farmer with a floor on the unit price of each of his crops, S1 for wheat and S2 for barley. This corresponds to the following linear programming problem, which in matrix form becomes, minimize, subject to, the primal problem deals with physical quantities with all inputs available in limited quantities, and assuming the unit prices of all outputs is known, what quantities of outputs to produce so as to maximize total revenue. 
the dual problem deals with economic values. With floor guarantees on all output unit prices, and assuming the available quantity of all inputs is known, what input unit pricing scheme to set so as to minimize total expenditure? To each variable in the primal space corresponds an inequality to satisfy in the dual space, both indexed by output type. To each inequality to satisfy in the primal space corresponds a variable in the dual space, both indexed by input type. The coefficients that bound the inequalities in the primal space are used to compute the objective in the dual space, input quantities in this example. The coefficients used to compute the objective in the primal space bound the inequalities in the dual space, output unit prices in this example. Both the primal and the dual problems make use of the same matrix. In the primal space, this matrix expresses the consumption of physical quantities of inputs necessary to produce set quantities of outputs. In the dual space, it expresses the creation of the economic values associated with the outputs from set input unit prices. Since each inequality can be replaced by an equality and a slack variable, this means each primal variable corresponds to a dual slack variable, and each dual variable corresponds to a primal slack variable. This relation allows us to speak about complementary slackness. Another example, sometimes, one may find it more intuitive to obtain the dual program without looking at the program matrix. Consider the following linear program, we have ma plus a n conditions and all variables are non-negative. We shall define ma plus a n dual variables, ish and c. We get, since this is a minimization problem, we would like to obtain a dual program that is a lower bound of the primal. In other words, we would like the sum of all right-hand side of the constraints to be the maximal under the condition that for each primal variable the sum of its coefficients do not exceed its coefficient in the linear function. For example, x1 appears in null plus a1 constraints. If we sum its constraints coefficients we get a1, 1y1 a plus a a1, 2y2 a plus a a plus a a1, nin a plus a f1 s1. This sum must be at most c1. As a result we get, note that we assume in our calculation steps that the program is in standard form. However, any linear program may be transformed to standard form and it is therefore not a limiting factor. Covering packing dualities, A covering LP is a linear program of the form, minimize BTY, subject to, at a per mil yen C, Y A per mil zero yen, such that the matrix A and the vectors B and C are non-negative. The dual of a covering LP is a packing LP, a linear program of the form, maximize CTX, subject to, acts a per mil currency B, X A per mil zero yen, such that the matrix A and the vectors B and C are non-negative. Examples, covering and packing LPs commonly arise as a linear programming relaxation of a combinatorial problem and are important in the study of approximation algorithms. For example, the LP relaxations of the set packing problem, the independent set problem, and the matching problem are packing LPs. The LP relaxations of the set cover problem, the vertex cover problem, and the dominating set problem are also covering LPs. Finding a fractional coloring of a graph is another example of a covering LP. In this case, there is one constraint for each vertex of the graph and one variable for each independent set of the graph. Complementary slackness, it is possible to obtain an optimal solution to the dual when only an optimal solution to the primal is known using the complementary slackness theorem. The theorem states, suppose that Z equals A, X1, A X2, A, A, A Xn, is primal feasible and that Y equals A, Y1, A Y2, A, A, A M, is dual feasible. Let denote the corresponding primal slack variables, and let denote the corresponding dual slack variables. Then X and Y are optimal for their respective problems if and only if, X J Z J A equals A0, for J equals A1, A2, A, A, A N, and, we are equals A0, for E equals A1, A2, A, A, A M. So if the ith slack variable of the primal is not zero, then the ith variable of the dual is equal to zero. 
Likewise, if the JTH slack variable of the dual is not zero, then the JTH variable of the primal is equal to zero. This necessary condition for optimality conveys a fairly simple economic principle. In standard form, if there is slack in a constrained primal resource, then additional quantities of that resource must have no value. Likewise, if there is slack in the dual price non-negativity constraint requirement, that is, the price is not zero, then there must be scarce supplies. Theory, existence of optimal solutions, geometrically, the linear constraints define the feasible region, which is a convex polyhedron. A linear function is a convex function, which implies that every local minimum is a global minimum. Similarly, a linear function is a concave function, which implies that every local maximum is a global maximum. An optimal solution need not exist, for two reasons. First, if two constraints are inconsistent, then no feasible solution exists. For instance, the constraints Zana Pamil beta 2 and Zana Pamil 1 cannot be satisfied jointly. In this case, we say that the LP is infeasible. Second, when the polytope is unbounded in the direction of the gradient of the objective function, then no optimal value is attained. Optimal vertices of polyhedra, otherwise, if a feasible solution exists and if the objective function is bounded, then the optimum value is always attained on the boundary of optimal level set, by the maximum principle for convex functions, recall that linear functions are both convex and concave. However, some problems have distinct optimal solutions, for example, the problem of finding a feasible solution to a system of linear inequalities is a linear programming problem in which the objective function is the zero function, for this feasibility problem with the zero function for its objective function, if there are two distinct solutions, then every convex combination of the solutions is a solution. The vertices of the polytope are also called basic feasible solutions. The reason for this choice of name is as follows. Let D denote the number of variables. Then the fundamental theorem of linear inequalities implies that for every vertex X of the LP feasible region, there exists a set of D inequality constraints from the LP such that, when we treat those D constraints as equalities, the unique solution is X. Thereby we can study these vertices by means of looking at certain subsets of the set of all constraints, rather than the continuum of LP solutions. This principle underlies the simplex algorithm for solving linear programs. Algorithms Basis exchange algorithms, simplex algorithm of Danzig, the simplex algorithm, developed by George Danzig in 1947, solves LP problems by constructing a feasible solution at a vertex of the polytope and then walking along a path on the edges of the polytope to vertices with non-decreasing values of the objective function until an optimum is reached for sure. In many practical problems, stalling occurs, many pivots are made with no increase in the objective function. In rare practical problems, the usual versions of the simplex algorithm may actually cycle. To avoid cycles, researchers develop new pivoting rules. In practice, the simplex algorithm is quite efficient and can be guaranteed to find the global optimum if certain precautions against cycling are taken. The simplex algorithm has been proved to solve random problems efficiently, that is in a cubic number of steps, which is similar to its behavior on practical problems. However, the simplex algorithm has poor worst-case behavior, Clay and Minty constructed a family of linear programming problems for which the simplex method takes a number of steps exponential in the problem size. In fact, for some time it was not known whether the linear programming problem was solvable in polynomial time, that is of complexity class P, criss-cross algorithm, like the simplex algorithm of Danzig, the criss-cross algorithm is a basis exchange algorithm that pivots between bases. However, the criss-cross algorithm need not maintain feasibility, but can pivot rather from a feasible basis to an infeasible basis. The criss-cross algorithm does not have polynomial time complexity for linear programming. Both algorithms visit the two dark corners of a cube in dimension D, the clear euro minty cube, in the worst case. Interior point, ellipsoid algorithm, following Cartesian, this is the first worst case polynomial time algorithm for linear programming. 
to solve a problem which has n variables and can be encoded in L input bits, this algorithm uses O, and 4 L, pseudo-arithmetic operations on numbers with O, L, digits. Karshian's algorithm and his long-standing issue was resolved by Leonid Karshian in 1979 with the introduction of the ellipsoid method. The convergence analysis have predecessors, notably the iterative methods developed by Naum Z. Shaw and the approximation algorithms by Arkady Nemirovsky and D. Udin. Projective algorithm of Karmaka, Karshian's algorithm was of landmark importance for establishing the polynomial time solvability of linear programs. The algorithm was not a computational breakthrough, as the simplex method is more efficient for all but specially constructed families of linear programs. However, Karshian's algorithm inspired new lines of research in linear programming. In 1984, N. Karmarker proposed a projective method for linear programming. Karmarker's algorithm improved on Karshian's worst-case polynomial bound. Karmarker claimed that his algorithm was much faster in practical LP than the simplex method, a claim that created great interest in interior point methods. Path-following algorithms, in contrast to the simplex algorithm, which finds an optimal solution by traversing the edges between vertices on a polyhedral set, interior point methods move through the interior of the feasible region. Since then, many interior point methods have been proposed and analyzed. Early successful implementations were based on affine scaling variants of the method. For both theoretical and practical purposes, barrier functional path following methods have been the most popular since the 1990s. Comparison of interior point methods versus simplex algorithms The current opinion is that the efficiency of good implementations of simplex based methods and interior point methods are similar for routine applications of linear programming. However, for specific types of LP problems, it may be that one type of solver is better than another, and that the structure of the solutions generated by interior point methods versus simplex based methods are significantly different with the support set of active variables being typically smaller for the later one. LP solvers are in widespread use for optimization of various problems in industry, such as optimization of flow in transportation networks. Open problems and recent work there are several open problems in the theory of linear programming, the solution of which would represent fundamental breakthroughs in mathematics and potentially major advances in our ability to solve large-scale linear programs. Does LP admit a strongly polynomial time algorithm? Does LP admit a strongly polynomial algorithm to find a strictly complementary solution? Does LP admit a polynomial algorithm in the real number model of computation? This closely related set of problems has been cited by Stephen Smale as among the 18 greatest unsolved problems of the 21st century. In Smale's words, the third version of the problem is the main unsolved problem of linear programming theory. While algorithms exist to solve linear programming in weakly polynomial time, such as the ellipsoid methods and interior point techniques, no algorithms have yet been found that allow strongly polynomial time performance in the number of constraints and the number of variables. The development of such algorithms would be of great theoretical interest, and perhaps allow practical gains in solving large LPs as well. Although the Hirsch conjecture was recently disproved for higher dimensions, it still leaves the following questions open. Are there pivot rules which lead to polynomial time simplex variants? Do all polyitropal graphs have polynomially bounded diameter? These questions relate to the performance analysis and development of simplex-like methods. The immense efficiency of the simplex algorithm in practice despite its exponential time theoretical performance hints that there may be variations of simplex that run in polynomial or even strongly polynomial time. It would be of great practical and theoretical significance to know whether any such variants exist particularly as an approach to deciding if LP can be solved in strongly polynomial time. The simplex algorithm and its variants fall in the family of edge-following algorithms, so named because they solve linear programming problems by moving from vertex to vertex along edges of a polytope. This means that their theoretical performance is limited by the maximum number of edges between any two vertices on the LP polytope. As a result, we are interested in knowing the maximum graph theoretical diameter of polytropal graphs. 
it has been proved that all polytopes have subexponential diameter. The recent disproof of the Hirsch conjecture is the first step to prove whether any polytope has supraplinomial diameter. If any such polytopes exist, then no edge following variant can run in polynomial time. Questions about polytope diameter are of independent mathematical interest. Simplex pivot methods preserve primal feasibility. On the other hand, Criss-cross pivot methods do not preserve visibility a euro they may visit primal feasible, dual feasible or primal and dual infeasible bases in any order. Pivot methods of this type have been studied since the 1970s. Essentially, these methods attempt to find the shortest pivot path on the arrangement polytope under the linear programming problem. In contrast to polytopal graphs, graphs of arrangement polytopes are known to have small diameter allowing the possibility of strongly polynomial time criss-cross pivot algorithm without resolving questions about the diameter of general polytopes. Integer unknowns, if all of the unknown variables are required to be integers, then the problem is called an integer programming or integer linear programming problem. In contrast to linear programming, which can be solved efficiently in the worst case, integer programming problems are in many practical situations NP-hard. 0 to 1 integer programming or binary integer programming is the special case of integer programming where variables are required to be 0 or 1. This problem is also classified as NP-hard, and in fact the decision version was one of CARP's 21 NP-complete problems. If only some of the unknown variables are required to be integers, then the problem is called a mixed integer programming problem. These are generally also NP-hard because they are even more general than ILP programs. There are however some important subclasses of IP and MIP problems that are efficiently solvable, most notably problems where the constraint matrix is totally unimodular and the right-hand sides of the constraints are integers or, more general, where the system has the total dual integrality property. Advanced algorithms for solving integer linear programs include, cutting plane method branch and bound, branch and cut, branch and price, if the problem has some extra structure, it may be possible to apply delayed column generation. Such integer programming algorithms are discussed by Padberg and in Beasley. Integral linear programs, a linear program in real variables is said to be integral if it has at least one optimal solution which is integral. Likewise, a polyhedron is said to be integral if for all bounded feasible objective function C the linear program has an optimum with integer coordinates. As observed by Edmonds and Giles in 1977, one can equivalently say that the polyhedron is integral if for every bounded feasible integral objective function C, the optimal value of the linear program is an integer. Integral linear programs are of central importance in the polyhedral aspect of combinatorial optimization since they provide an alternate characterization of a problem. Specifically, for any problem, the convex hull of the solutions is an integral polyhedron. If this polyhedron has a nice compact description, then we can efficiently find the optimal feasible solution under any linear objective. Conversely, if we can prove that a linear programming relaxation is integral, then it is the desired description of the convex hull of feasible solutions. Note that terminology is not consistent throughout the literature so one should be careful to distinguish the following two concepts, in an integer linear program, described in the previous section, variables are forcibly constrained to be integers, and this problem is NP-hard in general, in an integral linear program, described in this section, variables are not constrained to be integers but rather one has proven somehow that the continuous problem always has an integral optimal value, and this optimal value may be found efficiently since all polynomial size linear programs can be solved in polynomial time. One common way of proving that a polyhedron is integral is to show that it is totally unimodular. There are other general methods including the integer decomposition property and total dual integrality. Other specific well-known integral LPs include the matching polytope, lattice polyhedra, submodular flow polyhedra, and the intersection of two generalized polymatroids G polymatroids for example C. Shriver 2003. A bounded integral polyhedron is sometimes called a convex lattice polytope, particularly in two dimensions. Solvers and scripting languages, 
free open source permissive licenses, free open source copyleft licenses, Minto has publicly available source code but is not open source. Proprietary, see also, convex programming, dynamic programming, linear fractional programming, LP type problem, mathematical programming, job shop scheduling, nonlinear programming, oriented matroid, quadratic programming, a superset of linear programming, shadow price, simplex algorithm, used to solve LP problems, notes. References, L.V. Kantorovich, a new method of solving some classes of extremal problems, Dokla de USSR, 28, 1940, 211-214. G.B. Danzig, Maximization of a Linear Function of Variable Subject to Linear Inequalities, 1947. Published PPA 339 Euro 347 in T.C. Koopmans. Activity Analysis of Production and Allocation, New York, London, 1951. J. E. Beasley, Editor. Advances in Linear and Integer Programming. Oxford Science, 1996. R. G. Bland, New Finite Pivoting Rules for the Simplex Method, Math. OPA. Res 2 103 Euro 107. Karl Heinz Borgwert, The Simplex Algorithm. A Probabilistic Analysis, Algorithms and Combinatorics, Volume 1, Springer Verlag, 1987. Richard W. Kotel, ed. The Basic George B. Danzig. Stanford Business Books, Stanford University Press, Stanford, California, 2003. George B. Danzig and Muk and N. Thepa. 1997. Linear Programming 1. Introduction. Springer Verlag. George B. Danzig and Muk and N. Thepa. 2003. Linear Programming 2, Theory and Extensions. Springer Verlag. Edmonds, J. and Giles, R., A Minute Max Relation for Submodular Functions on Graphs, An. Discrete Math, V1, PPA 185 a Euro 204, 1977, Fukuda, Kimu. Terlicky, Tama S. Criss Cross Methods, A Fresh View on Pivot Algorithms. In Thomas A. M. Liebling and Dominique D. Werra. Mathematical Programming, Sir Rizzi B. 79, 369 Euro 395 DOI, 101007 slash BFO 2614325. MRA 1464775 A. Gonzio, Jake. Terlicky, Tama S. 3A Computational View of Interior Point Methods. In JLE. Beasley. Advances in Linear and Integer Programming. Oxford Lecture Series in Mathematics and Its Applications 4. New York, Oxford University Press PPA 103 Euro 144. MRA 1438311. Postscript File at Website of Postscript File at Website of Gonzio and at McMaster University Website of Terlikia, Murti, Katoji Linear Programming. New York, John Wiley and Sons, Incorporated PPX Plus 482. ISBN A 0-471-09725-X. MRA 720547-A, Evald D. Nering and Albert W. Tucker, 1993, Linear Programs and Related Problems, Academic Press. M. Padberg, Linear Optimization and Extensions, Second Edition. Springer Verlag, 1999. Christos H. Papadimitria and Kenneth Steiglitz, Combinatorial Optimization, Algorithms and Complexity, Corrected Republication with a New Preface, Dover. Michael J. Todd. The Many Facets of Linear Programming. Mathematical Programming 91A, Vazirani, Vijay V. Approximation Algorithms. Springer Verlag. ISBN A3 540 65367 8. Further reading A reader may consider beginning with Nering and Tucker, with the first volume of Danzig and Thepa, or with Williams. Demetrius Elevres and Manfred W. Padberg, Linear Optimization and Extensions, Problems and Solutions, Universitext, Springer Verlag, 2001. Mark de Berg, 
Mark Van Krebeld, Mark Overmars, and Udfried Schwarzkopf. Computational Geometry. Springer Verlag. ISBN A3-540-65620-0 A Chapter 4, Linear Programming, PPA 63 Euro 94. Describes a randomized half-plane intersection algorithm for linear programming. Michael Aguirre and David S. Johnson. Computers and Intractability, A Guide to the Theory of NP Completeness. W. H. Freeman. ISBN A0-7167. 1045-5A6, MP1, Integer Programming, PG245. Bangar Currency RTNER, JR and Registered Trademark Amato AEC. Understanding and Using Linear Programming, Berlin, Springer. ISBN 3-540-30697-8, Cornelis Ruse, Tom S. Terlicky, Jean Philippe Vial. Interior Point Methods for Linear Optimization, 2nd Edition, Springer Verlag, 2006. Alexander Shriver. Combinatorial Optimization, Polyhedra and Efficiency. Springer, Alexander Shriver, Theory of Linear and Integer Programming. John Wiley and Sons, 1998, ISBN 0-471-98232-6, Robert J. Vanderbay. Linear Programming, Foundations and Extensions, 3rd ed., International Series in Operations Research and Management Science, Volume 114, Springer Verlag, 2008. ISBN 978-0-387-74387-5. H.P. Williams, Model Building in Mathematical Programming, 3rd Revised Edition, 1990. Stephen J. Wright, 1997, Primal Dual Interior Point Methods, Siam. Inouye, 1997, Interior Point Algorithms, Theory and Analysis, Wiley. Ziegler, Gar 1 quarter NT Year M, Chapters 1 a Euro 3 and 6 a Euro 7 in Lectures on Polytopes, Springer Verlag, New York, 1994. External links, Guidance on Formulating LP Problems. Mathematical Programming Glossary, The Linear Programming FAQ, Benchmarks for Optimization Software, 2013 Linear Programming Software Survey, OMIS Today, George Danzig.